I am going to show some slides and uh, you are the person going to talk about it, okay. So uh, uh, what do you think, think about contribution, what do you mean by contribution? So improving the product or any part of the product is called contribution, I mean giving back, that's right. Uh, for long time, longer time uh, most people are thinking that contribution means programming. We have to write programs, we have to write patches, we have to learn version control system and we have to talk to the developer community and we have to be always with the developers. The, that is the so called contribution, people are thinking like that, it's not like that. And here we are going to discuss about without a programming what can we do for free software and open source community. And I am Srinivasan uh, working in a company called CollabNet, my daily job is to provide commercial support for subversion on Git. Apart from that, uh, there is Indian Linux user group Chennai. I am a coordinator for that and uh, we are running a Tamil magazine for free and open source software called Kaniyam. I am currently uh, being editor for that. So, so uh, the first thing if you want to become a contributor is to join a user group. So how many of you are not a part of a user group. One. Any user group. Fine. So uh, it's not a big thing to join a user group. Go and search internet with Linux user group in your area. It may be a Kanjipuram, it may be Madurai, it may be Hyderabad, maybe Delhi. Already there will be some user group is going, you will be finding their contacts, you will be finding their website, uh, there will be a mailing list and browse through it. It's up to the users. Uh, actually what is a user group? Uh, okay. So a user group is nothing but a group of loosely coupled people joining together, together and uh, they are ready to share their knowledge with us, that is called user group. And there is no uh, legal registration, there is no need to go to your register office and register your user group. If two members are willing to start a group that's fine, even a single member is also fine. Go and search internet, if you cannot find your, uh, what is your city name? Thermobari. Yeah. So uh, in Dharmaburi, uh, Dharmaburi is Tagadur, right? Yes. There is Tagadur user group is already there, but not active. So uh, creating a user group, yeah, go and search. If there is no user group, Linux user group in your city, start it. So starting is very simple. There is no need for uh, paying money, uh, buying websites, nothing. You can do, use all your free resources available. I will tell how to start a user group at the final. Yeah, yeah, people are thinking that to start a user group we need money, no it's not like that. Internet and interest is enough, only interest is enough, we will get everything for free. So join a user group and uh, in user group what they will do, they will do a lot of activities, join their activities, they will be having a mailing list, they will be having workshops, they will conduct uh, uh, workshops for colleges and organizations, join there and share your knowledge. And mailing list is the uh, uh, very basic uh, way of communicating, okay. So uh, where can we have some mailing list? Yeah, right. To have a mailing list, we are having a number of services like Google Groups, Yahoo Groups, and uh, a free list. There is a, an interesting site called free list. So the thing is, in Google Groups, only Gmail users can subscribe. In Yahoo Groups, only Yahoo users can subscribe. So what if I am using some other email ID or my own domain or my, my official domain? So there is a site called freelist.org. 
if you create a mailing list there anyone can subscribe so if you are uh, going to start a new mailing list uh, use that free list f r e e l i s t s dot o r g free list plural dot o r g so uh, to start uh, i lag user group uh, for my city or you already said it is there but it is not active uh, to make it work what we have to do or uh, yeah. fine let us talk uh, start with this topic also so uh, so all you need a group for any group there should be a mailing list if you find any group uh, search for mailing list and join if you are starting a new user group for example uh, is it dharmaburi or takadur so uh, start your mailing list in the free list.org that's it and start discussing that and announce that to your people your friends hey uh, go to your college friends you reach out to your school friends and tell that hey guys in our city there is a linux user group started and this is the mailing list join this mailing list initially you have to do some trick, tips and tricks like people won't join automatically so yeah so ask them hey can i add you in our list and you add yourself that's how you have to get the initial people then start discussing so that uh, uh, first uh, join in other mailing list like chennai bangalore delhi and share the news here so they will be discussing about hot topics what uh, uh, happening around the uh, uh, release of new linux distributions or events like this so if you find some event share into your local mailing list then people slowly start reading them and they will be start asking questions say how can i do that how the very initial question will be i want linux ide so where can i get it that will be the very initial question from all of us so have some linux isos and uh, tell them that hey i have linux ide a linux iso uh, come to me this is my home and uh, copy into a dvd or usb drive and share to them so this is how we have to build the basic level next is irc we okay mailing list is there but uh, why we use mailing list i use mailing list for getting answers for my questions if i have some doubt i will post in mailing list and i will get answer but it will take some time for people to reply so if i ask something today by tomorrow only i will get what if if my server is crashing down or i cannot install something i am in the hurry hey i want to get some immediate support there comes the, this irc this is called internet relay chart every software we are using make it uh, have it as ubuntu or fedora or mozilla or thunderbird or pidgin name it a software free software there will be a mailing list and there will be a irc channel the developers who developed those software will be hanging around in the irc channels go and ask your questions for example you are having ubuntu and your uh, internet dongle is not working go and ask uh, learn how to use irc it is just like uh, jita the tools are available or web tools are available go there and ask hey how to use uh, my data card into ubuntu and they will uh, ask you multiple questions if you bluntly tell that my data card is not working in ubuntu they don't know so what what is the ubuntu version you are using what is the data card you are using what they will ask multiple questions to you uh, get the data card information they will give you some command run this command and reply back so you will get some answer and uh, it works fine then don't quit the channel so be there somebody will be asking some other question hey is there anyone in dharmaburi uh, who can install ubuntu for me who knows anyone can ask any question so be there watch it so the more you are using the free software uh, uh, you will answer the questions so some deep technical questions also can arise keep quiet if you know something start answering so uh, provide because people are coming to irc chat believing that there is someone who can answer my questions yeah so you ask you ask Uh, you get help so later you start helping to anyone so hang out in irc there are quite interesting irc channels in india like linux iphone india is a, a nice irc channel for indian people so the most uh, you can see most of the guys coming here and giving talk 
they will be hanging around there. So there is no need to get their email address and follow them in the email you can get in the channel and you can get uh, real time interact there will be a lot of fun they, we will be kidding each other we will be blushing each other so it will be more funniest thing. Yeah. So that the other users can log into that time and then yeah. normally that time will be right. They can expect some answers from you. Correct. So he's telling that uh, just imagine I am in IRC by morning six o'clock to evening five o'clock, but you you will be going to college or any organization, but your organization is not allowing IRC chat, then you will be coming to chat after six o'clock, but I won't be there. So if you are uh, starting a new community and fix a regular time, we can ha we will be hanging around in daily evening, six o'clock to nine o'clock. So on the time, many people can come and ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. So on, uh, me monthly meetings also can happen over IRC. Every month, second Saturday, or if it is IRC, so anyone can join. So we can have weekly. And the interesting part about IRC is the entire open source development is happening over these basic tools, mailing list and IRC. So all developers will be chatting over the channel and they will be uh, clearing all the bugs and they will be fixing what to do next. They will be conduct meeting or uh, they will be planning everything over IRC, they will be developing over IRC. And Ubuntu is doing wonderful job. And there is a channel called Ubuntu iPhone Classroom. So they are conducting regular classrooms. Or Ubuntu iPhone Classroom, UBUNTU, UNTU, UNTU iPhone Classroom, Classroom, Class, C L, yeah, yes, Room, right. So they will be conducting many sessions. Like uh, for users, they are conducting many sessions. For uh, now, uh, the next week it is going to happen. Ubuntu 12.10 is going, coming, so they are preparing the, uh, they will be introducing how to use Ubuntu. One session will be on how to install, one session will be on how to migrate from uh, other operating system and how to uh, connect to your network, how to use uh, graphical applications. The entire training session will be happen over IRC. If you know something, no, only type, everything is chatting. If you know something like uh, how to develop a Firefox plugin, you can start uh, training over IRC or it is not about development even using if you know how to use Ubuntu one, it is a cloud storage. If you know how to use uh, uh, pre, um, GIMP, if you know how to use uh, OpenOffice LibreOffice, you can take session on that. So uh, it is your classroom and you can uh, you can ask in their mailing list, hey I know this, shall I take class on this and they will provide hours. And there is other developer uh, oriented uh, training also happening in the same Ubuntu classroom. So uh, they will take a um, fix a week of training. So from Python development, Perl development, how to package, how to bug fix, how to uh, create bugs, how to track them. They will train everything all IRC. The great part is all the IRC charts can be logged. So, uh, most uh, these classrooms may, may be happening in the midnight, do not worry about that. Uh, do you, you have to uh, be awake all the night, there is no recovery. You can, they will be provided the log. So the next day morning, you can check the log and you can read everything. Documentation. So uh, I hope most of you are using uh, any flavor of Linux, right? So what do you feel about documentation of any Ubuntu. So do you get any help? It's good. It's good. So do you have any bad time when you are struggling with something and there is no documentation available? Yeah, one thing is when it comes to legacy hardware, there is no documentation support. But uh, do you have any um, bad time? That was before uh, three or four years. Uh, we had a 
lot of time uh, some something will fail but we will not get any documentation or we will not get any help at all before four or five years back uh, during 2003 four during that days okay but now so nowadays uh, we get most yeah. of the documentation and uh, what do you think who are doing the documentation does anyone from mars is doing the documentation no it's all guys like us people like us so uh, you find something interesting and first document it somewhere. For example, if you have the same example, a uh, USB dongle is not working for you and you ask it somewhere in the IRC chat and you, they give a lot of commands and you run everything and you give the answers to them and somehow it worked okay, and you are happy and you are congratulation then and you come out. So the next day, next thing you had to, what you had to do is you had to document everything. No one can read all the chat logs chat logs. So, it will be very, anyone can chat. So, there will be multiple questions. So, you ask something, somebody asking in the middle, you, they answered here and he, this answer will be here. It won't be a, a nice to read. So, document it. Yeah. And uh, there are a lot of uh, opportunities for documentation for every distribution is having a wiki page. So, post it there. So, wiki.ubuntu.com is a great place to start with that. And Fedora Wiki dot Fedora is there, uh, Debian Wiki is there, and uh, learn Wiki editing. Wiki editing is not like uh, normal textual editing; it has some rules to make it bold and italic. It is easy to read, easy to learn, and contribute to that. And uh, there is another project called Ubuntu Ifan Manual dot org. Ubuntu Ifan Manual. Manual manual.org. So, they, these guys are coming up with a PDF book for uh, every Ubuntu release. Uh, PDF book contains uh, all the topics related to Ubuntu. So, if you download that book and if you start reading, there is a beginner. Uh, mostly what we will do, we will be talking to our friends, right? Hey, I use Ubuntu, do you want? You will go and install it, but the next day he will be troubling you. Hey, how to do that? How to do this? I want to learn this. Uh, it is not working. Where is the menu? He will be troubling you with tons of questions and you will be driving, you will be in the office, in the meeting. If you do not answer, that guy will frustrate. Hey, this guy is not responding, then why I have to use Ubuntu? Uh, for those guys, give this book. This book is uh, always uh, need your help. So, this book is also written by uh, our friends only. So, if you know something, at least uh, uh, writing one paragraph is also fine. Uh, proofreading book is there and now it is in proofreading stage. Go to there and download the latest version and proofread it. There will be a lot of spelling mistakes and there will be a lot of missing images. Screenshots will be there, but uh, instead of screenshot of a pit game, they may place GIMP. So, you have to find, hey, this is not a proper place for this, uh, this image, replace it. Report to them, they will fix it. Sooner the more you interact with them in their mailing list and IRC, they will give access to you. Hey, you know, you are having better English, you are a good proofreader you directly fix it and once you get access, you can directly fix anything. But what should be present in a good documentation? Pardon? What are the things that should be present? Yeah, present, uh, the good documentation means uh, it should have just, uh, yeah, uh, just uh, write, start with how to documents, okay, how to uh, install uh, how to enable a Bluetooth dongle, use internet dongle in Ubuntu 10.0. For that, you have to mention what is the distribution version. It, this document applies for only this distribution. I tested in this, this may not work for other, yeah, Ubuntu version 10.10. .10. And what is the uh, dongle you have? It is Reliance HTC or what is the model and who is the manufacturer? And step, uh, what is the issue? I connect the dongle and it is not recognized. That is the issue. So, issue, I am while connecting the uh, device to uh, Ubuntu uh, desktop, it is not recognizing. That normally comes in patch, no? not an initial documentation, but something like Yeah. Uh, how to document, how to should be like this. So, and then it is your how to document, you can write your wish. And then uh, steps, to re, uh, steps to solve the problem. So, what are all things you had to install, what are all the files to edit, what are all the things to uh, thing and what are the links to read. You can give the link, hey read, first read this link, then read me. 
uh, the read mind. So give the link. That's enough. And, and no one will uh, uh, bother you if you have some spelling mistake or if you write wrongly. It's up to you to uh, provide documentation. And workshops. So, how many are you are students here? Many. Good. So, if you know something and approach your college and uh, ask, hey, shall we have a workshop on this technology? And I will, uh, I will be teaching to my friends on or uh, other departments. So just imagine you will be using Ubuntu in your uh, department. Uh, does all other departments are using Linux? Only computer science is using Linux, right? Why not a visual communication student should not use Linux? Or why not a mechanical engineer or civil engineer should not use Linux? Who will go and teach them? We learn somehow by our friends and some workshops in our college or somehow we learn. but. The other department guys are scared of computers. Hey, even if in computers, it's still a scary thing for a, a civil engineer because they kill him with C programming. So, like is, uh, coming down. So yeah. Other department other people. Uh, graduates from other fields or trades. Yeah. Yeah. A fine example is mine. I am an instrumentation engineer. <laughs> so uh, I attended a workshop in my college for Scilab. Then only I learned about that. Uh, then I thought, hey, Scilab is interesting. And then uh, I learned the philosophies. Why MATLAB is selling the software for course and why the Scilab is giving it for free. Then, uh, then after college, college only, I started to learn Linux. So if you know something, conduct workshops because uh, many people will be having um, uh, blogs or online materials and if you teach a guy in present of him then only he will learn. So you can give a talk for uh, one full day about how to use Linux but if you have a lab and open a lab and teach him how to type VA or how to open a terminal then only he will learn it first. So uh, attached to colleges. Because every colleges nowadays are uh, very interested to conduct more and more events like workshops because they have to do. The universities are norms are uh, enforcing that you have to do multiple activities rather than only in classroom activities. So go to your nearby college and tell them, hey, I know Linux and I want to teach you. Uh, I know uh, I'm not a guru, but I know little, but I want to, I love to teach you. So they will accept, start, start with your workshop. And if you have a local Linux user group, get help from them. Hey, I know this college and they are ready to have a workshop. So can anyone join with me? If you shoot a mail, definitely multiple people will join with you. And you three, you two, two or three people can go and handle the session. Pardon? Yeah. Yeah, there is no age limit for learning. <laughs> Even you can have a workshop for public also, it's not only for students. Some colleges allow public too. So uh, make it open to all, announce it in a newspaper and uh, your user group. Anyone can come and join and learn from you. Going to public. So Linux is uh, being only in the academics nowadays. Uh, the public or uh, the layman is not using computer at all. But the, it is the drastic change in them that many people are started to use in computer in their libraries, their public places. So we have trained them too. So reach out to public place. Uh, we conduct, uh, we are celebrating a day called Software Freedom Day every year. So on those days what we do is we hire a, we go to a public park like this. Anyone can, anyone, the old people will be going, the kids will be roaming around. So we call everyone and we, we talk to them. Software yeah, Software Freedom Day. Software. September 3rd Saturday. Every Saturday. September month. It is celebrated worldwide. The motto is to reach public. 
even though he is a retired person, even though he is a housewife, even though she is a uh, working bank, you can go and talk to them, hey, there is something called free software. You can get uh, all for free and you can explain the philosophies and the money factor. If you show the money factor, everyone will be convinced for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what do you mean by bug? Error. Error. So, can you uh, remember and recollect when you find l l error in your computer? Hmm? Windows is not genuine. Very good question. I think to talk about Windows here in Ubuntu or any other free software. <laughs> so, uh, how many of you are using LibreOffice? Many of us, there is no other alternate, of course. If you are editing a huge document, uh, for example, 100 to 200 pages, if you uh, shifting your uh, scroller, it will crash somehow. So, it will crash and go away and you have to restart. Uh, you can recover it, but it is a bug, right? Normally, it will ask you, hey, do you want to report this bug? Have you saw the screen? So, uh, usually we will be getting a screen on how uh, report a bug, what you will do normally. So mostly, most people do the cancel. Hey, I am already running out of time, I have to do something, why I have to report this, I do not know, cancel and go away. <laughs> but uh, reporting a bug is a wonderful contribution, because as a developer, I will be working in my computer and it is an awesome computer, it is all the environment are set perfectly. Okay, I will be having some 8 GB RAM, it can handle any load. I do not know what the bugs will come to you. So, in your hardware, in your setup, if you uh, found any bug, report it. So, reporting to uh, the developer is very easiest thing. Nowadays, uh, Ubuntu we make it, made it easier. There is a tool called Ubuntu if bug and what is the software you want to report. If you, for example, Firefox, Ubuntu if bug, Firefox. If you type in the terminal, it will collect all the details about, about your system. It will collect what is the distribution, what is the RAM you have, what is the RDX size you have, what are the processor running. It will collect all the things and it will generate a huge report and then you have to log into launchpad.net and just send. It will be reported as a bug to them. So, next time you see a report a bug, take some time and report it properly. Sometimes the same bug will repeat. Yeah. So that is another thing. So yeah. If you are reporting the bug, it will in launch pad it will automatically show already uh, is this the same issue. The for example, Firefox crashing. If you report type like this, it will uh, show all the previously reported bugs and if it is the same issue, just mark it. I am also affected, that is no need to duplicate it. If you have much more time, there is a issue tracker in uh, launch pad is issue tracker. If you have much more time, timing on uh, handling issues, read all the reported issues and allocate to proper uh, team. Uh, launch pad is a uh, whole thing for Ubuntu and Ubuntu is having thousands of software. If I am reporting a bug for Firefox, it will be uh, the owner will be common. So then mark it to Firefox team, send the bug to relevant team. If you do that, they will uh, start picking up and solve it. If you have a Firefox issue and if you are reported that to a LibreOffice team, they cannot do that and they have to manually do that. Developers are so busy. So, if you have time, go to the bug tracker and read all the things and give it to proper team. That is a very big contribution. Packaging. So, Linux and open source is all about source code. Installing a software some 10 years back is a very hectic one. You have download the source code. There is some command called dot slash configure, make, make install and if you tell that uh, huge procedure to install a software to a new buy, he will say like this, I do not want anything. <laughs> I want click, click, click install. Where is the next button here? 
So we have to do with all the terminal and all the commands to install your normal software. But nowadays things are changing. But uh, even now for every day there are some 10 to 15 new software are being released. Software developer will only develop the code. What you can do is you can download the code and package it for your distribution. If you are using Ubuntu, there is a huge documentation and huge help on how to package a software for Ubuntu. Read that, there are only you have to type some 5 to 10 commands and uh, type a configuration file. If you do that, it will download the source code, it will compile it for you and it will come create a dev package and you can share it with the repository. Anyone can install in a double click. If you are using Fedora, make it for RPM. If you are using Arch Linux, package for it. If you are using any Debian, so we will be using any kind of Linux site, right? package for it. Learn how to package it. There is nothing, download the source code, run some commands, package it and give back to the community. So this is what we have to do. And the, you have to do it regularly. For example, I am a developer, I developed a version, version 1.0. You package it and you maintain it. If I do release version 2.0, you have to get, you will be getting email from me and you have download the 2.0 and again package it. The only thing is download package, download package and release. So very, you can learn it in half an hour or one hour how to package RPM or deb, you can do it easily. Organize events like this, okay, I am not uh, at all into a computer, okay, I hate computer, but what, still you can contribute. So you see a lot of people are sitting around having stalls and having uh, banners and uh, they welcomed you, they give you snacks, they give you many things and uh, behind this, uh, this event there are some 100 people showcased there, finding the location, printing banners and advertising, everything is done by people only. So you can take any part of that, hey I am good at uh, banner design, I can design banner for you and for print or I know many people in the city. So I can go and catch a venue for the any event. So you can do anything. Who are not there in any of the social media? Not there. So we are, social media is nothing but uh, all, all of us are creating our own community. So, uh, okay. It's really happy to see you. <laughs> So uh, if you are part of any social media and if you know uh, any news, share it with others. For example, hey, I am using LibreOffice. Hey guys, I am using Fedora. I am using Debian. I am using Ubuntu. Share the info like this. Or if the new distributions are coming, hey, Ubuntu 12.10 12 is on the way. Fedora 17 is on the way. Just type whatever you learn and share it there. So, slowly people will start asking, hey, what do you, you type something called Fedora, what is that? People will ask you, then you can explain, hey, it is a Linux, oh, okay, leave me. Some people will go away, some interested people will come and follow you and you can redirect to other channels. If you are a media guy, so write articles in your local newspaper and if you are a videographer, take a video of uh, Linux and this, this kind of events and publish in TV. And a radio, if you know anything about your radio, if the local event is running there, but how many of in Bangalore, how many know this event is going there? Very less, because uh, there is no announcement in FM, there is no announcement in print media, there is no announcement in TV advertisement. If you know those kind of people, they also need something, something right. All newspaper and FM and TV need some news to cover. So you only have to give them, hey, there is an event happening like this, come and cover if you just pause this message, they will come and cover the entire event. Interview. So if you see any people uh, contributing to Linux, interview them. There, I know uh, there is a guy who is uh, uh, low educated and his job is only uh, selling some idli. But he is uh, a part of documentation team of Ubuntu. So what we can do is we can go and meet them or we can have a call with them, hey, how you get into this team, how you are interested, how you get interested. He will share his experience and publish in media and publish in your local news group and 
he will be a more inspiration factor for all of others. So comparing to him, we are all very in very higher level. Uh, he is uh, uh, he is not having a computer. He is going to his friend home and start uh, working. We have all we all have computer. We have internet and we have all the resources and we have time. If you read those things, we, we will get more inspiration. So take that part. If you know someone who is doing something in the, for free on open source software, catch him, talk to him and release him. Podcast, I do not think uh, in India podcast is getting well, but in other kind part of the uh, world, uh, podcast is the audio content. So people will be talking about some topic regularly, daily 10 minutes like that. So if you know something, you can talk about. So these are all the famous podcast site for Linux. So you can go there, go to their website and you can listen to them. Blog. So again the same question, how many of you are not having blog? Okay. That's fine. Blogs are uh, the uh, very first place to share ourselves. It's our online diary. Can anyone talk about blog? Who is having? Can you talk about what is blog? Yeah, uh, blog where I can uh, just give my views, uh, what uh, whatever my interest. It uh, it is a personal or. Uh, uh, it can be a technical or it can be any other uh, thing uh, wherever I go. J just I, I used to uh, uh, blog uh, what uh, what happened there. And uh, sometimes uh, if I am uh, getting into some trouble in uh, source uh, or open source or whatever uh, the problems we are, we are working on, uh, I used to do uh, the blogging. And if any events are uh, going in our company, I used to do, uh, I used to give uh, of uh, share uh, the photos, uh, images, everything there. So blog where I can just share my views, uh, share my ideas uh, over internet. So uh, wherever uh, my friends are there, uh, they can uh, just check and also others, they, they can just uh, come and uh, get the knowledge of uh, what is what is what or uh, what is uh, about myself and other things. Okay. So uh, you know something share about in your blog, these are all the famous free blogging sites, you can create an account for free and start writing. Uh, today go to your home and or tomorrow go to your home, write about this event, hey I attended this event, this is very useful or I learned this thing or these are all the pros and cons of this event. So if you keep start writing and it will be a great documentation for all of us. Translate. Uh, only in cities uh, you can uh, talk in English. If you move around of any major city, if you talk in English, people will scare you. Hey, what is the language you are talking? Where are you from? So we need local language to reach apart from city. So if you know, if you read some Ubuntu documentation or Ubuntu manual, Ubuntu guide, translate to your local language and publish in your blog. Google Translator is not open source and it is not a good one. It is still in, in infant. Translate manually. No. All are infants. Silpa. That also infant. No. Fine. Yeah, there are many automatic tools are there, but they are uh, in infant stage, so do it manually. Yeah. And test if you for every release there will be a beta alpha releases will be there. Firefox and 20 is come, going to come and they will be really announced. Hey, we release alpha, download and test. You test all this thing and create bug reports and uh, send to the developers. And there are many forums like Ubuntu forums and Fedora forums and X forum. We can name it anything. Go and read questions and give answers. If you know web design, you can design your website for your local Linux user group or for any uh, free software you know. Artwork, if you are good at designing, uh, painting or uh, manually or using computer, create icons, create screen saver, create wallpaper, 
and uh, create logos, create cursors and give back. Create everything and put it in your blog, people will come and take it from there. If you are a musician, create free music and publish here. So this is the site, anyone can download free music. And if you know something, create video tutorial, create screencast and publish in these videos. Talk in your local language, how to install uh, uh, Thunderbird in Ubuntu. Take it as a topic and uh, record your entire screen. There are wonderful tools are available. So using them, capture everything and publish in these video sites. And there is another uh, thing called spoken-tutorial.org. Go and check their website. This is, they already created a number of lang videos in English. So we can easily translate them. So already there are videos available for how to install some software in Ubuntu. So no need to recreate them. Just translate in your languages. So this site is providing videos in all the major languages for uh, Python, Linux, LaTeX and many other technologies. So join with them and translate the videos. So there are multiple steps. One is finding English video. Second one is translating the content into your local language and giving voice, just dubbing. If you are okay, if your voice is good and you can give dubbing or you can, if you are good at writing, translate and give it to them. We all need support right in hard times. So uh, for installing some software or configuring something, we will be stuck up some in the middle. So we need support and people need support. If you know something, go to their place and fix them. If your friend is having some problem, go to his home and fix it. You can charge, it, charge for it. So you can set up your organization for providing support for Linux and you can give support via email, phone or chat or forum. You can do it for free or paid. You can get money. There is no need. Everything should be for free. If you go and do it something physically, get money for it and donate money. There are many organizations asking for money like Wikimedia Foundation and Kickstarter project and Gnome Foundation, KDE Foundation will be asking for money to run their own websites, to run their servers, to give something for promotional events like this. So if you have money, donate too. Other thing is use it. So aggressively start using the free open source software only. So can all of us take a oath like I will be using only free open source software in my computer. Can you repeat that? Yeah, at least in your personal computer. Can you say that? I will be using only free open source software wherever I live. Thank you. Thank you.